Hey guys, Galusia here, starting up another Call of Duty Zombies. Thanks for coming out today. So in the last episode, we failed miserably. I don't know about miserably, but we failed to exfil. Um, ah, at the end of round 10 and every 5 rounds after that. Okay, I thought it was going to be every 10 rounds, every 5 rounds. See, i got to read this stuff when it's popping up on the screen. It's actually useful. This is where it started, Strike Team. Let's get some answers. Okay, so a little bit different this time. Uh, made some changes to Stoner 63. Got the 100 round mag unlocked, so that's helpful, obviously. Get out here. Oh, you can literally one shot these guys the first round with your melee. Okay. The last time that we tried to exfil, I didn't realize that the helicopter was going to show up in a completely different area from where the radio was, and I didn't know Infected that you had to. I didn't know that you were going to have to kill all the zombies in the area before they would let you exfil. Like, the the LZ was too hot. Um, which, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but it, I didn't know that, so it threw me for a loop and ended up not pulling it off. So, we are going to pull it off this time. Uh, I'm also trying a different route. I always started by opening that door first, so open this door first just to see if it changes anything. I doubt it will. Okay, so this is open. Uh, it does make it so that I can get a shotgun like right away, which is nice. Since the shotgun is upgraded for me, I just, it's the only thing I've, I have upgraded when I... I don't, oh my god, I literally need like a dollar. This is ridiculous. Can I, oh, I can fix this. Nice. I might actually get enough money just from fixing this. Um, I forgot to spend my upgrade thing last time, too. That was unfortunate. Okay, so we got this unlocked. That's an electric door. Can't go in there. Hello. Double points. Okay. We have double points. We need to pick up kills while we have double points. Pick this up. Jesus. Undead can go down. The double point still applies to barriers, so that's good to know. Still experimenting, you know? There's still a lot to learn about this game and about the new, new zombies. Okay, so we can go up here. And I still have to honestly learn a lot about the map. Like, the map is pretty confusing. Oh, there's a drop down here. Okay, that's actually good to know because drop downs can be useful for kites and escaping and stuff. The nuke literally killed everyone but that one zombie. Awesome. Okay, let's... I need to... F <laughs> One of these days, I need to stand by the explosive. Strange. The door opens on its own, as if to welcome us, like Lazarus risen from the dead. Okay, this shotgun is definitely not as good as the shotgun that you can buy in this area, but you can get it quicker, so I mean, I don't know that I would get it again, though. Honestly. Oh, oh, see? That's how quickly this game can turn to shit. Alright, let's get out of here. Should be able to open a few doors. Okay, so we just need to get this last door, and then we're good. Exfil. We're gonna exfil today. <laughs> 1750. Easy peasy. Let's get this reloaded. 
this is a pretty big area, so it's nice for kiting zombies. But before you get the power turned on, it's so dark that I, I honestly hate fighting zombies. Okay, I hear zombies. You must turn on power first. See, this I need to experiment with too, because I haven't messed with that yet. Where is this guy? Jesus. Most annoying zombie ever. I'm curious what weapon is down here. So we got Krig. I like Krig's not bad. At least in multiplayer. I've never tried. That's one thing I always used to when uh, at the height of my Call of Duty zombieing. Uh, you know how like a lot of YouTubers and stuff will do like weapon guides, and they'll like break down the weapons and like their usefulness, and whatever. Uh, I would do the same thing, but specifically for zombies, because some guns that are amazing in multiplayer are complete trash in zombies, and then vice versa. There's some guns that are awesome for zombies, but they're not that great for multiplayer. So I would be like the weapon guide video guy specifically for zombies. Shoot our way forward into what's like happening here. <laughs> Apparently, they're not getting close enough to trigger that, which is interesting. It's like right there. Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. Okay. Um, I really want to try that upgrade station. I think there's only one zombie left alive right now. I think it's maybe there's like two. Yeah, there's another one there. Okay, so let's let's try that upgrade station real quick since I have a window. Upgrade weapons and armor. Oh. Weapon. Cost. Excuse me. Rude. Reduce damage from zombies. Sure. Huh. I guess it just automatically immediately applies it to you? It's interesting. Okay, I do not want to fight dogs in here. I do not want to fight dogs in here. We're finding dogs out in the open. Oh, what was that? Interesting. I have full armor. Cool. Oh, there's an armor plate slot above my health now. I see that now. I didn't notice that before. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's uh let's start opening up doorways so we can loot better. Uh-huh. I think I have enough for this one too. Sick. Alright. This spot right here is like literally one of the best spots in zombies ever. Ooh. Another walking corpse. Just trying to get enough money for jugs now, basically. Yeah. Missed.
Wait, what is this that I'm picking up? Oh, it's a decoy. I thought it was a uh, stem. Where's the mystery box this time around? Oh. <laughs> Man. Need to get my eyes checked. Reloading the stoner is definitely the downside to it. That's the upside to it. <laughs> All that spraying that I just did. You just gotta create some separation and give yourself some time to reload, but it's definitely challenging. I would say because this gun is so slow that if you're going to use it, stamina up is definitely needed. Free reload right there. Free reload, free reload. Excuse me? Excuse me. Stop reloading. We already have full ammo. Thank you. You can get armor, like that's awesome. Um, I need to make my way over to the other side, because that's where the next fill radio is gonna be. One less screen. So, this time we're not going to call in the x until there's almost no zombies left for this round, right? That's, I think, the move, right? So, I'm going to fight zombies over here if I can. I'll retreat to the other larger area if I have to. Having the health bar on the zombies is definitely useful. I wonder what it would be like if there was like a body count though. Like if it told you how many more were going to spawn that round. That would definitely help me to strategize like whether I was going to stay in a particular area or if I felt like I needed to go to a different area or whatever. 
feel like I'm not having that much of a problem just cutting them in a circle right now. I'm sure later on as they get more vicious that would be kind of ridiculous, but for right now it's totally doable. Let's see how effective all of us are. Oh my god, okay. Let's call in the radio. Strike team to Requiem, requesting immediate evac. Chopper inbound. We got a limited window here. Get a move on. Okay, there was barely any zombies left, and I think when I started the exfil, it spawned in zombies. I think that's what's going on, actually. So it's forcing you to. Like, you have to kill zombies, you know what I mean? Which is good. They're making it a challenge to exfil. Keep one of my perks, that was interesting. Can't do it. Okay, so. Another failed attempt, guys. I feel like I'm letting you down. But we're learning at the same time, right? So, this time I thought, hey, I'll make sure there's only a couple zombies left. We'll call in the X-Fill. We'll be good. Not the case because it's spawning in zombies. So, we, if we're going to do the X-Fill, we have to make sure that we have enough firepower to kill a large group of zombies quickly. And I think one of the ways that we're going to pull that off is equipment. I think we're going to need lots of explosives. Like you saw when I threw that molly, it didn't kill a ton of zombies when it was the big group, but it weakened a lot of them. And then if you start spraying into them with the LMG, then that's going to mop a lot of them up because now they're really low health, right? So I think if we can craft things like mollies, and because you can see that you can stack them up. Like I, I don't remember before I had like five semtexters or something like that like obviously you can hold more than you can in multiplayer so i think that's the ticket i think we need to have a bunch of explosives because they're all grouping together so we can clear a large amount of them quickly obviously you know i feel like it would probably be easier to exfil if you weren't by yourself um but i think in solo like this is a legitimate challenge now like you know, in the last video we were talking about challenges and, like, what challenges you guys would like to see me tackle. Um, this is a challenge. Like, this is for sure something that is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So, which is actually, like, super exciting. Kind of makes me almost feel like I should make it to round 15 and do the round 15 exfil because I might be able to have better equipment and stuff like that so i think we might need to try to figure out how to get like pack a punch and stuff like that i know it has something to do with going into the other dimension and stuff so i'm gonna have to figure it out from there um because i think our weapons just need to be able to do more damage by the time you get to around 10 or 11 um you can see that stoner 63 was really not you know just kind of chipping away at them right so it's just it's too slow either that or like upgrade the uh the weapons more maybe you know because we got um oh, got another error this has happened before yep 
I like click on something and it like errors out, but then like I get in here anyway. So, oh god, of course, LMGs are unlocked at level 38. That figures. But yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Maybe we can level up some other stuff that's useful. Can I level up shotguns just again? Oh yeah, it costs two though. I have to. Let's just make shotguns baller. Let's just make shotguns baller. That's probably the move. Okay, cool. See? There you go. So I think that's what we need to do. I think we just need to make ourselves better, and I think we need to figure out the pack a punch. I think that's going to be a huge step forward. So let's, um, obviously we're wrapping it up for today, but next video I think I'm going to try to unravel the mystery of, like, the whole dimensional pack a punch thing and figure out how that all works out. So I'm going to call it for today. Big thanks to everybody for coming out. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell notification thing that YouTube is so proud of. I really appreciate the view and support as always, everybody. And I will see everybody in the next one. Bye.